Hi, I'm Jay Grunke, founder of The Balanced Runner. I've been helping runners from beginner to Olympian improve their form and performance since 2003. And I'm here today to talk about uh, shoulder pain that keeps you up at night. So this weird problem of feeling fine all day, but when you're lying in bed, um, either trying to get comfortable to sleep, uh, your shoulder starts hurting, or it wakes you up in the middle of the night. Um, it's a really miserable feeling. I've had it myself. Um, I've just had to help my mom with it. It's pretty ep epidemic right now. Um, so I want to explain to you why that's happening to you and uh, help you solve that problem. Because even though it's not interfering directly with your running, it's interfering with your sleep, which is interfering with your recovery, which then can end up setting you up for other injuries in addition to feeling miserable. So um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit subscribe. Please like this video because I've got great information for you and uh, please share it with your running friends. Uh, so the reason this happens is not anything to do with your running form, and you probably already guessed that, uh, because it doesn't bother you when you're running. Uh, it doesn't bother you mostly during the day. Uh, it's just a nighttime thing. Uh, so this is coming from your work setup, uh, from your desk. And I, uh, this is an issue that I've been um, concerned with and creating resources for for my clients for quite a while, because... Um, it, you likely spend a lot more hours a day working than you do running. And so how you use your body when you're working has an outsize effect on your running form as well as how you feel the rest of the time. And it probably has a bigger effect on your running form, um, as well as how you sleep at night in this case, uh, than anything you actually do with your running form. Uh, and so in this way and in many other ways, your desk can totally mine, undermine your efforts to be healthy and to move well. Um, so the reason that you're having this particular problem is because, um, especially these days, you may be spending more hours on your computer and probably a laptop um, or other device than you're used to and just be um, uh, breaking that up less with moving around, going places, talking to people, uh, variety of movement. I would say overall the variety of movement in people's lives during the COVID pandemic when I'm recording this is, has really decreased and that always has very negative health effects. Um, so what happens when you're on your computer? Um, it's very famous. It's, um, it's this, it's forward head posture, your shoulders round, your chest gets narrow, your back is round, your head goes forward. Uh, so this causes your shoulder problem um, because uh, it causes your, the space between your humerus and uh, your um, uh, 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 acromioclavicular joint, so the joint between the outer edge of your shoulder blade and your collarbone, so your collarbone which starts here and goes all the way out here. You can follow it with your fingers if you want to find it, and it meets your shoulder blade, it's a little harder to follow it completely, but you can find a ridge of bone that's sort of in the middle of your shoulder blade and follow it out to the tip of your shoulder. So the, there's, there's supposed to be some space between your upper arm bone, your humerus, and those joints, and there's tendons in, or that joint, and there's tendons in there. Um, but when you slouch, and so that causes your arms here. I'm, I'm just going to put my arms up and I'm going to slouch and you can see my, my arms rolled inwards and uh, that just happens automatically when you roll your, sh your shoulder blades forward uh, uh, because you have rounded your back. So you get, your front gets smaller in two directions. It gets smaller this way in that your chest goes down and it gets narrower side to side. Your shoulder blades get rolled forward and your upper arms get rolled inward. And all of that just really reduces the space in here. And so you get what's called impingement. And that's probably the reason that you're having pain. It could also just be irritation at the joint between um, the clavicle and the scapula um, because this also, uh, rounding forward like this also pushes, you know, like the, the length of this bone is fixed. So when you narrow the distance from here to here, um, there's, it pushes uh, both inwards and outwards. And that can cause irritation here, which people seldom feel. 
um, and irritation out here, which you're more likely to feel. And so you can end up with this front of the shoulder pain in the night, um, especially when you lie down to sleep and then you go into this position again, but also partially because um, when you sleep, cortisol levels drop. Uh, cortisol is an anti-inflammatory and it also suppresses pain. That's why any, any like mosquito bite itches more at night. Um, uh, and that's also why things often hurt more at night. Um, there may also be other mechanisms for why that's hurting at night, um, but those are the two that I know of, the position that you're in and the lower cortisol. So um, what you need to do is fix the force that is causing you to round your back so much. And as I've said, that's likely your laptop. And the chief problem with laptops is that the, the screen is attached to the keyboard, which means that your head and your hands are required to be fairly close together. And you see, if I just sit like this and I just bring my head and my hands closer together, what has happened to my chest and my back, right? Um, so ergonomically, it's a terrible design. And so that you just have to increase the distance. That there are, there are many things that you probably need to do, frankly, with your home, home desk setup um, or wherever you are working right now. Um, uh, all of them can be accomplished very inexpensively and without a lot of hassle. Uh, you just have to know what they are. But the biggest one is separating the screen and the keyboard. And that doesn't mean breaking your laptop in half, it just means buying an external keyboard. So mine just plugs in via USB to my laptop. Um, just plug it in and it works, real simple. Um, and so then I can have, I can put my laptop up on a stand, which is why you're seeing me sit up and make eye contact with you instead of have to look down to make eye contact with you. Um, so I have my laptop on this nice wedge-shaped German uh, or um, bamboo stand that I got on Amazon for 25 bucks. Um, the keyboard also, Amazon, really cheap, maybe $11, can't remember. Um, and then under, it, um, the bamboo stand didn't get my laptop up high enough, so I put the, the German-English dictionary underneath, which is a pretty fake book. Um, you don't even have to get a stand for your laptop. You can just keep piling up books until you, you close your eyes, you sit up straight, you open your eyes, you look straight ahead, your screen should be there. It shouldn't be down at all. Your body will always follow your eyes. So if you're setting your laptop on your desk, uh, the minute you get immersed in your work, you're going to go like this because you're looking down. Okay. Um, laptop stands. I, had, I have this old laptop stand. It's just a, a slope thing that I actually got this at Ikea for a couple pounds when I was living in, in Europe. It's not tall enough. The bamboo stand that I'm using that you can't see because it's underneath my laptop is, um, is a much steeper slope. Um, but again, you can just pile up books. Um, so uh, that's my top recommendation for you, is fix that. Because you can do exercises, and if you surf around here on YouTube, you'll find exercises uh, for shoulder pain, shoulder impingement, um, and they're plenty good, but you just, you're just you gonna have to do them every day and you're not addressing the cause. And, uh, and the cause is, gonna, is your work setup, and it's not only affecting your shoulders, it's also affecting your foot strike, it's predisposing you to plantar fascia problems and knee pain and causing you to overuse your quads and underuse your glutes. And um, I have solutions for all of that. So, uh, and the most important one is this. So, um, uh, the resource that I promised is actually a course that I created called Ergonomics for Runners. Uh, because there's a lot of detail. I'm a detailed person, as you can probably tell. Um, and so I have figured all of this out, and I can tell you exactly what you need to do. All the factors, the way to get at your desk to fit your body in a way that reduces the amount of muscle tension and um, leaves you freer to concentrate, able to breathe better, have more energy for your work, and not take bad movement habits from your desk with you into your running or your sleeping or anywhere else that you don't want them. Um, normally in these videos I give you a resource for free but this one actually a lot went into putting it together. It's something that I created a while back um, and so what I'm going to do is give you a discount 
coupon for it. So Ergonomics for Runners, it's a $49 course. Um, I'll give you $10 off with the discount code Healthy Shoulders. The link for that is down in the description below. So just click show more on the description and um, you'll see you can click through and use the discount code and get the course. Uh, that includes your um, uh, a, a long video that shows you all the factors that matter. Uh, the healthy desk setup guide, a very simple image for what to copy for your own body and your own workstation um, and um, calling out all the key factors and a resource guide with just clickable links for all of the equipment that you may or may not need um, that I've already found for you so you don't have to go spend hours shopping around trying to figure out if something is going to work or not because not every ergonomic chair or keyboard or whatever is actually good um, some of them are, some of them aren't. So I've done that work for you and that document's in there. Um, and then there are also um, a, a couple of Feldenkrais lessons to help you sit better in your chair because you may be bringing bad habits to sitting. And if you get your desk set up perfectly, you may still have that habit of slouching that's just going to put you here anyway, maybe not as low as you were. Um, so I also am giving you the um, this resource to help you naturally find and feel how your body sits comfortably and without tension so that you're not accumulating tension when you sit you'll, you'll feel more comfortable at your desk so that's all the stuff that's in the ergonomics for runners course again the link is below the discount code is healthy shoulders um, I hope you should take advantage of it I hope that this video helps you um, there's enough to deal with in the world right now um, uh, without having shoulder pain that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It should at least be able to get a good night's sleep. So um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, uh, I'll be back with more videos. If you have questions for me, please post them in the comments. I always check those before I make new videos, uh, and I would be very happy to answer your question. Enjoy.